all this is dr mubin sayed uh, so i'm here today with this uh, sad news dr zev zelenko dr vlad vladimir zev zelenko who has been actually a guest on dr bean a few times as well whose work i have reviewed as well he has passed away the the way i remember him so there are many words many people are discussing he he is a hero a brave man a leader a protector there are many many words the way i saw him was from the perspective of a doctor who is looking at so me being a doctor looking at another doctor dr zelenko and seeing how he is conducting and how he is making an effort to do whatever best he thinks he can do for his patients and then expand that for humanity so during his lifetime during his work there were people who criticized his work there were people who appreciated his work and i think that is part of all of our lives that there are everything that we do there is going to be someone who would say i don't like it and there are those who would say they like it and i think the success is when those who like it like your work are more than those who don't and dr zelenko was very successful he was younger to me younger than me he was 4 years younger than me but the work that he did i was thinking about it that was as if he was 50 years ahead of me and i remember in one of our interviews i asked him so before the interview we were having this little pre show in which he would join me backstage on this stream yard and we will talk so i asked him i said do you feel pressured to um change your stance change your voice adjust your position and he said yes but he then disclosed that i have cancer and i believe one of his lungs was removed as part of the cancer therapy and he said i am going through cancer and i will i have learned to value life and my freedom and my message so i would like to do what i believe in so that was a person who had seen death and stared at it and then had a resolve for people so it was not a common person's message to stand up to do something so that was my inspiration my inspiration was what he was doing as a doctor how he was making an effort how he was uh, finding solutions how he was uh, managing his patients in one of the interviews so um, people know that i am pro vaccine i am pro mask in one of the interviews i asked him about mask because somebody asked a question here that ask him dr zelenko about mask and so i asked him i said do you wear mask in your clinic and he said i don't believe in it but for my patients comfort if they feel that they are they they are more comfortable with me wearing a mask than i wear a mask and i still remember that thought in my head to say he's a doctor 
he doesn't care what is his belief for mask or vaccine or for anything if his patient is comfortable a certain way which is the priority for a doctor then he would adjust his position for the sake of that patient so many such memories those that were with his interviews sadly i think majority of those interviews were removed by youtube but those memories as well that were behind the scenes before the shows or after the shows so i wanted to share some of your messages that i'm seeing right now plus some of the so this is a link in the description this is uploaded june 7 health update from the hospital from dr z zen vladimir zelenko protocol so here he is discussing that he has developed or they have found a tumor in his right ventricle which is the on the right side so both side of heart have two chambers right ventricle is the right chamber and he said there is a tumor there plus there is a clot there and his own words were if that clot detaches it's a ticket to the next world but he then goes on and discusses that his resolve is strong he's not afraid of it and he has advice for everyone so here is his video i would recommend you watch it then a few of the messages here this one picture so i'm just remembering him i'm not um here to offer some emotions or to offer some uh comfort just in a very simple way i'm remembering him i remember this i somewhere in early 21 he had a study out about a medicine that i cannot talk about here um and i reviewed that study and while preparing to review this i drew his picture because i was just so inspired by his work so i drew his picture i still remember drawing every single strand of his hair and his uh Uh, his eyes and i was not very happy with the way i drew the eyes but i didn't know how to make it better i'm not a great artist so this is what i could do but in that process i had to kind of understand his features and proportions and draw them so this is how close i came to him and it 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 makes me sad to have the same picture today with the dates on it so i would read some of the comments here from the cool beans so this is uh, i posted this on twitter and so evox says ouch sad and tragic news rest rest in peace dr zelenko a brilliant brave good man kitty said thank you for sharing very touching martin says a warrior of the first order salute info seeker thank you dr bean prayer to his friend and family prayer uh, robbie says um, i remember you drawing that he was a true hero it's a desperately sad day he will never be forgotten and so on great pick and so people have been remembering him in many more ways than what i'm sharing here but just just to have you see similarly um so nation under god says did you have the honor of meeting him i had him on the live interview so i have not met him in person but he has been here for live interviews i had him on the live interview my apologies so it looks like my phone was playing my video i start the video to share the links 
so uh, diana says you so close. he will be sorely missed yes so <clears throat> yeah he was a very humble soul very decent human being and again i'm not i'm not great at offering um, tributes um emotions uh, or or comforts for emotions but i can just offer as i have always done the sincere message that is inside of me and so my message has always about dr zelenko the, he was in the newspapers he was in the tvs there were so many ways to look at his life but for me it was a doctor that i was seeing who is making an effort for patients so cynthia says late here what a sad surprise yes jcls says thank you dr veena feeling so down today for passing yeah yeah he was a nice caring man he was a brave man as well and as i said before he was 4 year younger than me but he had work done that was 50 years ahead of me and ahead of his colleagues yes he saved many lives yep so the uh, type of cancer he the one he, the what he discussed with us was that his cancer had actually already stricken him enough that one of the lungs was removed so this is before the pandemic and so then he was actively managing it and and here is the yes so for me uh, people have many words of uh, once again hero a fighter a brave man a leader an inspiration for me a doctor and this is how large the word doctor is for me that it encompasses all of that so there are there are some doctors sadly who are who don't deserve to be called doctors and then there are doctors who give the definition to the word doctor and here we are seeing one such person correct the heart and the soul of a doctor absolutely yes yes so all of our condolences to his family his colleagues his friends his teams anyone who knew him loved him yeah i actually so i was not very close to him because it's met him a few times for the live shows here but i st still have that profound feeling of missing him and i think i sh i celebrated him i cherished him i uh, i celebrated his work so with this um i'm going to stop this talk i don't want to add any other topics here with this one thank you very much for being here we'll talk more a little later but i just wanted to make sure that this discussion this remembering of dr zelenko is separated from the other discussions so thank you very much um share your condolences with his family friend 
and um, let's keep for me the message is still the same let's for doctors let's be good doctors that that's all that's as simple as the message can be thank you very much i'll see you again soon bye